Uh, hello everyone, my uh, name is Baha. I was born and raised in the town of Bethlehem and uh, I've been involved in doing education on uh, Palestine for visitors and uh, guests that uh, come to Palestine from all over the world. I do that through a small initiative called To Be There, simply because like the best way for you to understand what's happening in Palestine is for you to be physically present in Palestine. Today we'll be explaining a little bit about one of the infrastructures that the State of Israel has imposed on the Palestinians, which is the most recent Israeli wall. The latest Israeli wall that the Israeli government started building on the land of the occupied West Bank by the year 2000 is a structure that is about 700 kilometers long. It's almost twice the length of the border between the occupied West Bank and the international recognized borders of the State of Israel. The structure was built on property that the Israeli government have stolen from Palestinian families in order to install yet another structure that maintains the fragmentation and separation of Palestinians from each other and of Palestinians from their land. The largest section of the Israeli wall is made of a series of fences like the one you see over here. Uh, which is nearly 90% of the structure. The fences are more destructive of the property of Palestinian families simply because of its width. It differs from one area to the other. It's around 40 to 60 meters wide, paving through the property of Palestinian families and destroying it. Of course, in the year uh, 2004, the International Court of Justice, which is the highest court of justice on the planet, ruled that the Israeli wall is illegal and it has to be dismantled and families that sustain losses because of it must be compensated. Uh, of course, the Israeli government and the Israeli state rejected that advisory opinion of the International Court of Justice and claimed that this wall uh, is a necessity for security. And by saying this, the State of Israel tries to fool the world, to make it like, kind of accept this element of destruction that the State of Israel have brought upon the Palestinian people. The Israeli wall in general separates Palestinians from Palestinians. On one section of the wall over here, you find the Palestinian community of Beit Sahur and the Palestinian community of Bethlehem. And in the other section, you will see the Palestinian community of Sur Baher. So in a way, the wall provide security for the state of Israel to separate Palestinians from each other. Up until today, you, you rarely find anyone who will explain to you why Palestinians on the east side of the Israeli wall are more dangerous to the state of Israel than nearly two million Palestinians living on the east side of the wall, including Palestinians living in Jerusalem, Palestinians referred to as Israeli Arabs, and Palestinians that are stuck between the Israeli wall and the borders of the State of Israel, in an area that the UN refers to as the same zone.